What's up everyone? The day of the double eviction of Big Brother 24 has officially arrived and we are here to talk all about it. We've got so, so much to talk about, so welcome to your live feed update. Alright folks, now right before we get started, if you haven't already and you want quick, concise and fun Big Brother videos on your YouTube feed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button and the bell icon to get notified every single time a brand new upload goes live. That's three buttons. Subscribe, like, bell. Smash them. Question of the day now, folks, and it's your job to make yourself look like you are a legend right now. Double eviction tonight. Which two house guests do you think will be seeing jury tonight? That's all you got to do. Guess two people. Good luck. May the odds be in all of your favours, and I'll be impressed if you get them both, folks. Good luck. Let me know in the comment section below which two people you think will be heading to jury tonight. Okay, gang, let's jump right into the live feed update. I apologise if I'll be sniffling through this video. I think I'm coming down with some kind of cold. So, send me strength and um, and I'll do my best to get through this update with uh, minimal sniffling. No promises, but I'll try. Okay. Double eviction. Nice. Happy double day, everybody. It's officially arrived. We're on day 65? Yeah, 65. Day 65. And uh, Terence is most likely going to be... The first victim of the double, which I know a lot of people are going to be very, very happy about. So if you ever had any doubts, folks, that Terence would be, uh, wouldn't be standing our screens tonight, he's going to be gone by the end of the night. I can confidently say it. Now, as for the second person, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about potential targets and nominee sets and all that kind of wonderful stuff, Vito. Um, but it's an exciting night. It's a double eviction. It's the most... Um, unpredictable night in Big Brother. It can turn out to be very predictable, but going into it, of course, because we don't know what's going to happen yet, it remains the most unpredictable night of the season. So, another thing to take into account as well, which I'm seeing a lot of people talking about, is the fact that there's a lot of stuff going on with Queen Elizabeth, if y'all haven't heard at the moment. So, if something happens during the show, perhaps it we might lose out on Big Brother and it'll go to news reports instead. I am honestly not sure how all that kind of stuff works, but I'm assuming obviously it will be breaking news and they would probably most likely interrupt the broadcast of Big Brother and most programs um, in, in a lot of places in the world. So that's that's something to bear in mind tonight, of course, because there's it seems pretty serious. I know this is obviously Big Brother we're talking about right now, but this kind of intertwines now with the fact that it's something so big that if something does happen, it will impact Big Brother, right? Um, so, yeah, I'm just sending well wishes to the Queen right now, and uh, we'll see what happens by tonight and see if it, uh, if it does does clash with the show. Um, it's, a, it's, it's not even a nice thing to talk about, is it really? It's kind of a... It's, well, not kind of, it is a sad topic, and, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just have to keep our eyes posted and uh, and see how things unfold today. All right, now the question on everybody's mouth is who is everybody going to be targeting in the double? So we'll talk through the house guests and talk about who they will most likely be uh, targeting should they win HOH and get the chance to dominate people. Okay, so um, as we know, we're assuming Terence is going to go, of course, so we're not even going to talk through what he's going to do. And I would have no doubt in my mind that if he was staying, he'd be targeting Taylor because he hates her and he is cruel to her and... He just seems like a mean old man towards her, to be honest. Um, I'm glad he's gone tonight. I am. But we'll talk shortly as well about something Terrence plans to do before he goes anywhere. So we've got Monty and Turner. They are both planning on putting Alyssa and Brittany up on the block. But also they floated the idea of if Michael doesn't win the veto, which is obviously most likely uh, never going to happen. <laughs> They're going to be targeting Michael. Michael has to win veto tonight if he wants to make it through. Well, no, I tell a lie. The veto either has to be won by Michael or not used with without Michael on the block. If Michael's on the block, he's probably going, I would say. I think Taylor is probably going to target Turner. Again, I would love everybody to pitch in at this point. I've been a little bit out of touch this week with it. Um, I've, I've obviously kept up with everything, of course, because I've been doing the live feed updates, but I've just kind of grabbed what I could get this week. Um, that's what she said. And, um, <laughs> oh God. I'm sorry, I love a that's what she said joke. I, was, I love the office. Um, okay. 
I've totally distracted myself now. So I think, uh, yeah, Taylor's probably going to target Turner. Alyssa, I'm not really sure. I would imagine she'll probably go for Michael because it makes logical sense to take him out. I, I, I really do think that Michael is the key target for most people unless he wins the veto, right? I would say we're looking at this. We're going to lose either Turner Oh, God, I mean, there's an argument to be made for everybody. That's the beauty of Big Brother, and that's the beauty of the double eviction. Do you know what? If you asked me this maybe last year or the year before or the year before that or the year before that, I was going into all these doubles kind of going, I know exactly what's going to happen here. I know exactly what's going to You know, Tiffany's going to be taken out first. And then, you know, you look at you look at all these other, uh, like the triple. I nailed the triple in, in Big Brother 22. I managed, I went, can't remember the order, but I, I I said Kevin, Danny, David, boom, all three of them taken out. I'm going this double tonight. I don't know who's gonna go, and I love that. That's Big Brother, folks. That is Big Brother, and I cannot wait to see what happens. But if I'm a betting man, which I sometimes am, um, not heavy betting, I <laughs> I I would guess that I've got a feeling that Michael will stay. I really do. I think he'll prevail. He's, he's the king of vetoes. And especially if they're going to throw a mental comp in there, which I'm sure the producers will go, Michael's in trouble tonight. Let's give him a mental comp and he'll win it. I think Michael's staying. I think we're going to lose potentially Turner. Maybe Brittany. Possible chance of Monty. I don't think it makes sense for anyone to get rid of Alyssa. Expect the unexpected, folks. Because it's double eviction night. Okay, so old man Terence has planned on making a brutal speech tonight. I think namely to... To drag Taylor. You know, those words just came out of my mouth there. And I have found myself asking why. Why? It doesn't make sense to me what Taylor has done that has been so offensive to Terence that has made him want to basically tear her apart with a so-called brutal speech at the eviction. I could I could I could sit here all day in astonishment and speculate all day. But all the speculation would literally have no substance and the astonishment would have full effect. <laughs> um, right. If somebody can tell me in the comments section right now, what's Taylor done to annoy Terence? Something valid. Something valid that has made Terence hate her. Oh, that's warranted Terence to hate her to this extent of not giving her a hug at the, at the nomination ceremony, of basically saying things like she's like a whore on a stroll and, and calling her a, the B word and planning to basically tear her apart with a, an eviction speech. What warrants that amount of hate? I mean, is he mad that Taylor's not into him? Is Because you start to ask yourself those questions when, when there's nothing to go off. Is Terence just old and washed up and... Is mad that this younger girl Taylor won't get with him. Because it certainly uh, comes across that way. I mean, what do y'all think of this? Are y'all as blown away as I am in the fact that it just doesn't make any sense whatsoever? But nevertheless, whether it makes sense or not, that's what Terence is planning to do tonight. He plans on delivering a brutal speech. I 
I think Terence is just going to come across as bitter and mean and it's not going to be a good look for him. It's going to work more in Taylor's favour than it will in Terence's and it's going to work against Terence. I think he really thinks he's doing something. You know, I think he thinks he's like, I think he thinks he's creating a moment by doing it. But the only moment he's creating is his downfall even more. If anything, Terence is probably going to indirectly give Taylor more votes for America's favourite player. And Terence is going to get less. It's the lack of self-awareness, folks. So many people have it in life. Uh, and it really is to their detriment. That is all of your live feed updates for today, folks. I thoroughly hope you all enjoyed watching. Happy double day, everyone. Um, I managed to get through that update. Yes, I'm sounding a little bit under the weather, but I managed to get through, and that's what matters. And I hope everybody still enjoyed it. I'll be going live. Um, well, I'm planning to, unless I start feeling worse, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try and go live tonight, um, so join me there before the show. I'll probably do an hour or an hour and a half before I'll I'll put it in later, folks, so you can check that out, but... Um, please join me. Bring yourself along a drink. Bring yourself along some snacks. Bring along yourself. Um, and we can celebrate the pre-double eviction hype. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you all, um, as always, for your continued support. And uh, I hope that everybody's staying safe, staying well, and staying positive out there. I hope nobody else is uh, is feeling under the weather or anything like that. Um, so hang in there, folks. Send love to you all. But anyway... In the meantime, please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, do all of that wonderful stuff. But until your next live feed update, I've been your host, Tom Vasey. Good night.